Good morning, guys. Um, fear and greed. Uh, we all know the famous quote from Warren Buffett that the market is driven by fear and greed. And uh, yeah, we read about it. We we know about it. About it. We um, we even experienced it. I I know. I mean, it like doesn't make any sense. If you buy stocks uh, and sell stocks, then you just gonna have to have that feeling. Uh, but then. Um, but I think there are different levels of fear and greed. In my case, I uh, I experienced this stuff at the extremes. Um, so back in some 12 years ago, I bought thousand shares of uh, of Netflix, and this is the fear story. I bought thousand shares of Netflix for seventy thousand dollars. And uh, and then I sold them after a few months for uh, one hundred and forty thousand dollars. And if you know Netflix story, uh, at that time uh, Netflix went through some really serious issues with uh, uh, financing because they were losing a lot of money. Um, uh, they uh, uh, you know they they had maybe subscriber issue they had uh, competition coming from all kinds of angles uh, and it was uh, you know the, the media was all about it actually it was all over it and actually um, uh, Netflix at that time came down something like 80% there's a lot of similarities actually between Netflix and uh, and uh, Neo or any other stock that came down so much right it's like uh, you know, you know, uh, copy and paste of what we see today. Uh, so, someone like me, new in this, um, I thought, hey, I doubled my money. I'm, uh, I'm on top of the world. I'm done. So I sold, uh, and that was it. In today's value, my thousand shares, because Netflix went through seven times split, I would have had seven thousand shares. And so 7,000 shares times the current price today would give me something like $3.3 million. And, uh, and that's not the all-time high. If you actually account for the all-time high, you probably will go over the $5 million. So there you go. I thought at the time that uh, I was, uh, you know, Rambo and, uh, you know, sold my shares that, uh, hey, you know, uh, you know I'm, I'm the best. I know what I'm doing only to find out that I, I was the dumbest mistake. I was really the dumbest mistake. So why did I sell? I sold because, because I was afraid that I would lose the profit I made. That's the bottom line. And I did not understand Netflix model. I genuinely did not understand that. I never imagined that Netflix would be what it is today. All over the world, uh, original content, uh, competition from anywhere didn't matter, too strong, too powerful, you know, all that stuff, right? I didn't understand it. And it was interesting to see that a lot of the, uh, um, uh, you know, kind of bearish comments used to come from guys who actually would support Netflix to, you know, to, to the end. It's amazing because people flip, the people change, you know, the the bear today could be a bull tomorrow the bull today could be a bear tomorrow this is a place to for for money money transferring from this pocket to that pocket that's what it is right so anyways i i was afraid and uh, and i i just i did what i did that was because of uh, of being fearful uh agreed i i bought i bought new at dollar 20 cents dollar 21 cents to be exact Dollar twenty-one cents, and I bought thousands of shares of Neo at that time. I mean, a lot of thousands of shares, of course. Right? And uh, and Neo went up to uh, what uh, sixty-six dollars, sixty-five dollars, and I did not sell because I actually loved Neo's model from day one. And honestly, I didn't realize how much uh, um, you know uh, a cash uh, investment Neo required to make the model. Uh, you know uh, mature you know uh, i just i i couldn't you know it, it 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 amazes me when i think of uh you know what neo had to go through to to bring the uh, the model you know its model or the company to where it is today 
so I didn't sell. I didn't sell at all. And that was the time when I made uh, uh, from $180,000, I made, uh, you know, uh, uh, $1.8 million. Uh, so why didn't I sell? Uh, because of greed. Because of greed. And the funny thing is that the stock went up something like 5,000%. 5,000% is actually 50 folds, right? 50 you know, times. So, more than that, a little bit more than that, right? And uh, in a little over a year, right? Think about it. I mean, which, which other stock would go 5,000% in just, in just a year, roughly, or 14 months? Uh, and yet I did not sell and that was because of greed because I was thinking Neo will be in the uh, you know hundred dollars I'm not selling less than the three digit you know we start using these numbers you know it's, it's, it was it's silly when you think about it uh, uh, should I have taken a chunk out maybe sold part of it yes I didn't even sell it a single stock I was not smart right so in the case of Netflix, that was an extreme case and selling too early and being too too fearful. In the case of Neo, I was too greedy. It was too greedy. So in today's uh, situation, uh, Neo is actually is it, Neo's price to me. Okay, and I I you can see how wrong I am. You can see how the, the extremes I've been through. Uh, so I could be wrong. This is of course not financial advice. Uh, uh, in today's uh, 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 price, Neo is actually traded as a bankrupt company only because uh, because the mechanism, the shorting process, will will give you that. And don't be don't be surprised to see some of these shorts uh, change faith. You know these guys. Uh, you know they don't not, don't necessarily when it comes to investment. That's one lesson I learned in investment is that. Uh, that the uh, religion is actually money uh, worship you know, you know you worship money <laughs> over money you just go you know you go to that direction so uh, my point is that uh, uh, how do you, how do you how do you solve this kind of problem how do you manage this I don't think it's good to be in this fear situation and I don't think it's good to be in the greed situation. And certainly not in the super fearful situation and not in the super, uh, uh, um, you, know, uh, uh, you know, greed situation. You don't want to be in either of these situations, right? You have to uh, find a comfortable uh, zone where you could, you could uh, uh, do, you could accept. It's something like, um, risk mitigation or, or risk reward or stuff like that right so one of the things that I do right I ask myself seven dollars you know for example for new eight dollars ten dollars whatever twelve dollars for example you know what is the chance that that uh, the stock will go down to five dollars what's the chance it could actually, you know, from seven dollars to five dollars. It could actually. I was surprised it came down from nine to seven, and I was surprised it came down from ten to nine. It could, right? Um, but things are changing now. The story of Neo today is totally different from the story of Neo a few months ago. Neo is becoming, you know, uh, the new macho. You know, where we, we it's uh, the, the company is so dynamic, you know, the situation in the company is so uh, dynamic that uh, you just uh, don't know what's going on. You know, partnerships after partnerships, uh, spin offs, uh, 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 150 kilowatt hour battery, uh, you know, expansion, new model. Uh, you, you just you have a hard time, phone, chip, you have a hard time keeping up with this uh, with this guy and it is not a surprise it's not a surprise because why because of the model the original model uh, it's so big right like like I said before it, like the base of it is so big that that you wouldn't see anything for a long time and all of a sudden all these things will pop up that's the model 
you don't see anything. You think, hey, here's nothing, and we burn cash. We we we. It's actually not burning cash. You're actually investing, right? And uh, then all of a sudden, the, all these things that that Neo has been investing in in an R and D, uh, all of a sudden they become mature. Uh, and in fact, um, Deutsche Bank uh, had a list of five things, even though one of them was the phone. And I had a video on the phone that the phone could be a big one. <laughs> Watch that video. The next big thing could be the phone. Big surprise. I had something in the title surprise. It, you wouldn't see the phone in the in the title, but uh, anyways. Uh, so, in today's model, think about it. Today's model, and 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 when we talk about stock manipulation, some people think ah, it's an excuse. No, it's not an excuse. It's not an excuse. You don't understand it. Uh, why it's not an excuse? Well, let me tell you why. Do you think, can you, can you justify, can you explain why Neo was $65 uh, uh, back a few years ago, three years ago? Can you explain why? So was, that, was this justified? No, it was manipulated by, by, the, you know, by the big guys. The big guys know how to manipulate, how to ride the hype how to make it right even even i heard comments from guys who are you know like really super anti neo today like kramer or whatever right he was like saying positive things about it back then yeah okay okay you see so you have to you go with that you know, these these guys they just go with the money right if there's money in this they do it uh uh, and 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 this thing about China or you know I'm a patriot or or you know this kind of nonsense talk. Listen, you know, let me tell you something. Uh, Netflix they brought it down by eighty percent. Rivian, Rivian was hundred and seventy plus dollars. It came down to eleven bucks. Where's the patriotism with that? Why don't you support your own company? There's nothing. It's, it's all about money. It's all about milking, milking, you know, money from people. That's what it is. So don't 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 buy into this kind of stuff. Now, yes, of course, uh, you know, in reality, we do have a situation where there is some geopolitics. But at the same time, the Chinese president was in, in U.S. Uh, just a couple of weeks ago. Right. Uh, at the same time, you know, if you have, if you, if you think like me, I like to see, you know, that uh, hey, the world is uh, is happy, you know, and we have uh, birds all over the world. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, you know, you have to. But, anyways, the point is that uh, um, that Neo today, uh, compare Neo today to Neo when it was sixty six dollars. Tell me, was is it is it comparable? If it is the same, let's say if it's the same, then how do you justify the sixty six dollars? If it's the same, if you say well, it's justified that that news seven bucks price is justified. How do you how do you justify then the sixty five dollars? But we all know that Neo is probably fifty times better than than three years ago, if not more right the so i don't want to list all the things because we all know it right uh, so anyways the as far as the risk uh, this is where you have to say you know what is the worst that could happen and the other thing which is key uh, to uh, the, the worst that could happen when you buy a stock you know could it go whatever i mean this is an opportunity this is a lifetime opportunity in my opinion anyways the other thing yeah, you have to keep in mind, and this is key, and maybe maybe I should have hinted to this before, um, is that um, Neo is in uh, the hands of shorts. And I am not expert when it comes to these things. I just have feelings, or I have I have uh, I can I can I'm trying to read the market, try to read, you know what's going on with these things, right? So when a stock is in the hands of shorts. And they have a grip, you know. They have, they, they, they really held it down, pinned it down, right? Like Neo. Uh, if, if they, if, if, if they lose it, it's a, it's a problem for them. 
it's a problem for them because they will lose a lot of money to cover for their positions, to do whatever, and then they go through this. And then at some point they might think that, hey, maybe it's better to actually invest. And, and we have seen that in, in other stocks, such as even Netflix not long uh, ago from, uh, was it Pivotal Research or something? They flipped from being bearish to being bullish. These guys can do this in a, in a, in a flip, right? So if they lose ground, then uh, basically, uh, basically, Neo goes back to the hands of Longs, and that would be the power, the power, because now it's difficult to bring it down. Once, once you have big investors, once you have a grip on it from from Longs, it becomes extremely difficult to bring it down. This is my opinion, anyway. So, so the so the the momentum will be so much stronger, okay, in in the in the upward. Okay, that's that's my feel. Anyways, I could be wrong. I'm wrong all my life. So, uh, not a financial advice. Thank you and bye bye.